guys, it's Anisha. Today I am so excited because we're kicking off my vegan Thanksgiving series. Over the next two weeks, I'll be sharing with you five amazing vegan recipes to bring to your holiday table. And whether you're vegan or not, or your family's vegan, I think you'll all love them because they're delicious, they're decadent, they don't skimp on flavor or calories, and they have all of the classic Thanksgiving flavors. And before we get started with today's recipe, I wanna make sure that if you haven't subscribed yet, that you hit that red subscribe button right below. All you have to do is hit the red button, and then when you do, you'll see a little notification bell, and you can hit that as well so you get notified when I post new videos. Today's recipe is a Thanksgiving stuffing, and because Thanksgiving is all about traditions, I tried to keep this on the more traditional side. It's just as good as your mom's Thanksgiving stuffing or your dad's Thanksgiving stuffing, no gender roles assumed here, and it's definitely better than the boxed stovetop stuffing that I grew up eating. So let's get straight into the recipe. For the stuffing, you'll need some chopped pecans, dried cherries, minced garlic, fresh sage leaves, leeks, a mixture of diced carrots and bell peppers, a loaf of French bread, olive oil, vegan butter, an apple, and vegetable stock. So we're using leeks today for our stuffing, and that's just because I really like leeks. They kind of remind me of Thanksgiving. I think they go really well with sage. And you want to remove sort of the leathery paper skin. And you only want to use the white part and the light green part. And then we're just going to chop it up finely. So we can get rid of this big stalk right here and cut off that right here. In addition to the leeks, you're also going to dice up one Granny Smith apple. All right, so it's really hard to cut stale bread with a knife, so your hands are a better instrument. For stuffing, you generally want to use bread that's a little stale, so maybe buy bread the day before. I'm just using a regular French bread baguette, but if you want to get fancy, you can use a multi-grain baguette, you can use a miche, you can use a sourdough. Possibilities are endless. This is quite the arm workout. If you need to strengthen your wrists, uh, it's a great workout. This is not a very good snack at all. Stale bread is no Here good. we have six cups of torn up stale bread. If you have a bread knife, definitely use it. But if you don't, you can just use your hands to rip up the bread. To start the stuffing, we'll heat up some vegan butter and olive oil in a saucepan. And once it's all melted, you'll saute the diced leeks, carrots, bell peppers, and sage. Smells like Thanksgiving! If you've ever cooked with sage, you know what I'm talking about. It makes the whole house smell like Thanksgiving, like the holidays. It's just so savory and wonderful. Then you'll add in the chopped apple along with the minced garlic and a generous amount of salt and pepper. Next, just pour in the vegetable stock and let that mixture cook for a few more minutes. Now that the leek mixture has finished cooking, we're going to add our stale bread to a casserole pan. I'm also going to add some dried cherries and some pecans. And you can use dried cranberries if you prefer. I don't want the stuffing to be very sweet, so I'm using dried cherries that are unsweetened because they're a lot less sweet than cranberries. Adding dried fruit adds a nice little chewy bite, which gives you a contrasting texture. Then I'm adding some toasted pecans. Uh, you can use any nut you like. A walnut would be really good as well. You can prepare your stuffing in advance up to this point. To store it overnight, just cover the bread mixture with foil and transfer the vegetable mixture to an airtight container. When you're ready to bake the stuffing on Thanksgiving, just pour the vegetable mixture on top of the bread and add a few spoons of vegetable stock to add back some moisture. Then you'll tightly wrap the pan in foil and bake it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. After 30 minutes, take the foil off and bake it for another 10 to 15 minutes until it's golden brown. Time for stuffing! Look how good this looks. I'm super excited. I think your family and friends will love this dish for Thanksgiving. It tastes just like regular traditional stuffing, probably even a little bit better. 
hope you enjoyed that recipe for traditional stuffing done vegan style. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and stay tuned because I'll be sharing my next vegan Thanksgiving recipe in just a few days.